Good evening. Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. I'm good, thanks How for asking. You? Pretty good, thanks for asking. How about yourself? Ajá, ¿y ustedes qué tal? Ahí con miedo y frío. <risa> Porque con el huracán. miedo. Ah, sí, por el huracán, tiene razón. Ok. Ok, excellent. And is this the first class that you're having together as a group? Or have you met before? ¿Ya se conocían o es la primera clase que tienen ustedes como grupo? Es la primera clase. Ok, so no conocen a nadie acá. Algunos eh, que ya nos conocemos. ¿Algunos? Yo no, no, yo no. Solo a don Saúl Ardón conozco nada más. A don Saúl. Ah, ya Hi, Saúl. Okay. No se le oye a don Saúl. Yo no la conozco, no sé quién es. Ni en sueño la conozco. Tan oh. mentiroso. <risa> ok. <risa> ok, Ay, excellent. Estoy viendo mentiroso. <risa> pues aquí oh. aprender un poquito. Aprender días, más. Días, días aprender un poquito más. más de usted. Ok, perfect. So, we are going to be in. Hi, good evening, Lilian. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too, and I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. Okay, so we are going to begin. Uh, some of you already know, that's what you told me, but it's the first time that I'm meeting you. So what we are going to do is to, well, you're going to tell me a little bit about yourself. Van a decir un poquito acerca de ustedes, ¿verdad? I mean, your name, age, and the place that you are from. So, do I have a volunteer? No? Sí. Sí. Presentación. Yes. Yes. Um. I am Janet de Marín. I am from San Salvador. I live in San Salvador. I am homework. Um, happy. Oh, okay. Happy to be here. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Um, Stephanie, usted levantó ahí la mano y se la pude ver. <laughs> okay, good evening. Uh, my name is Stephanie Carolina. Uh, you call me Stephanie. I am 23 years old. I live in Soyapango City. Nice to okay. meet you. Nice meeting you too, Stephanie. Thank you. Um, let's see who's next. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Giselle. I have 25 years old and I live in Sayapango and study industrial engineering. Wow. Nice excellent. to meet you guys. <laughs> nice meeting you too, Giselle. Nice to meet you too. Okay, who's next? Me. Thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Lily. Uh, I live in Soyapango City too. I'm so glad to. Uh, I'm so I pardon. I'm so glad 
to be here again. Okay, thank you, Lily. So I have three people that are from Soyapango. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Who's next? Me. Thank you, Abigail. Hello. Okay, so we have Sandra and then Abigail, okay? Okay. Hi, my name is Sandra Vasquez. I am 30 years old. I live in Mexicanos and I live with my family. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too. Okay, Abigail. Hi, uh, my name is Abigail. Uh, you call me Abby. I am 23 years old and I live in Sayapango City. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice meeting you too. Abigail, te cortaste el pelo. Justo eso iba a decir. Yes. Sí. Okay, okay, and are you neighbors? Ustedes son vecinas? No? No, pero estuvimos en el mismo grupo en el, el curso pasado. Ah. Okay, excellent. Perfect. So tell me who's next. Hello. Okay, Jocelyn. My, my name is Jocelyn Marroquin. I am years old. I live in Tonacatepeque. Thank you, Jocelyn. So we have Saul. Hello, good night. Uh, my name is Saul Ardon. I live in San Salvador. Thank you, Saul. Um, let me see who's next. Okay, Veronica, thank you. Hi. I'm Veronica, I'm from Sonsonate. Thank you, Veronica. Uh, let's see who's next. Okay, so I have two Veronicas. Yes. 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 Hello, my name is Veronica Ramirez. Oh, I live in San Juan Opico. Nice to meet you. Too. Okay, nice meeting you too, Veronica. Okay, let's see. Susan. Hello, my name is uh, Susan Resino. I live in Sa San Vicente. Uh, mm, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too, Susan. Walter. Hello, my name is Walter Rivera. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Okay. My name is Walter Rivera, I am from San Miguel. I had 13 years old. Sorry. How old are you? 13. 30. 30. What? what? How old are you? 13. 13. No, 30. Ah, okay. Ya me había asustado. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Thank you, Walter. Um, we have Sandra. Hay dos Sandras. Sí, vaya. Pero aquí me ha levantado la manita Sandra de Sánchez. Uh, Sandra de Sanchez, can you hear me? Okay, so I think that she cannot hear us. Um, let me see. So we're going to have Sandra Vasquez. Yes. 
Can you introduce yourself, please? Okay. Uh, my name is Sandra Vasquez. I live in Mexicanos. I am a mom, a single mom because my husband passed away. And so, um, I am 30 years old and I am happy because I, I like to stay with my family and enjoy with them. And that's it. Okay, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear about your husband, but at the same time, I'm really glad to see that you are here learning a new language. And believe me that this is something that is really important because with English, you have many, many opportunities that you can take advantage of. Okay. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, um, let me see. Douglas. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Douglas Barahona. I live in, in Rosario de la Paz. I'm 30 years old. And nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Sorry, can you say your age one more time? Can you hear me, Douglas? Excuse me. Yes, how old are you? Oh, I'm 80 years old. 80? Or 18? 80. 80 years old. Ah, uh, 30. Yes. Ah, ok, sorry. Es que le escuché 80 y me quedé, ¿cuántos o 18? Ok, so, sorry, my bad. Ok, now we have Delia. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. My name is Delia Rivera. I'm a student. I am... 19 years old and I'm glad to hear with you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Delia. Let's see, Alejandra. Hi, my name is Alejandra. I, I study medical student. I live in, in San Juan Opico. Okay, thank you. Uh, we also have Edwin. Nice to meet you. My name is Edwin Rivas. I live in Mexican, Municipio Mexicanos. <clears throat> and I am 30 years old, 40 years old, sorry. And my favorite hobbies uh, are watch TV, listen to music, and play soccer with my friends. Only that. Okay, thank you, Edwin. So we have Sandra De Sanchez. Good evening. My name is Sandra De Sanchez. I from in, I from in El Salvador, San Salvador. I like me. I like me, I like me uh, cooking. Okay, you like cooking? Yes. And what's your favorite food, or what do you think is the best food that you can cook? Uh, I like me cooking uh, pupusas. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Uh, am I missing someone? Me hace falta alguien o ya están todos? Jocelyn? Está en mute. No se le escucha. Sorry. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm Jocelyn Daniela, and I'm live in Santa Tecla. I have 24 years old, and I will be uh, a 
escucharon? Um, se le cortó. ¿En serio? Yes. ¿Se me escucha cortado? Yes. Maybe it's the internet. It could be. I'm sorry. That's okay. Thank you, Jocelyn. Thanks. Okay. Um, ¿Alguien más o ya están todos? I think that we already have all of you. Okay, um, I'm going to give you feedback, and this is about the verb be, okay? Uh, something that is a very common mistake that we make when we are learning languages is that we translate from Spanish what we want to say in English. And, for example, in Spanish, we say, tengo, um, what? Tantos años, okay. But in English, we don't use the verb have. We said I am. So you can say I am, um, what? Years old, okay. Ya ustedes me dicen la edad, okay. But if you say I have, esto gramaticalmente es incorrecto, okay. Cuando nosotros expresamos lo que es la edad en inglés, siempre vamos a utilizar lo que es el verbo to be. I am 20 years old. I am 19 years old. I am um, 30 years old. Y así sucesivamente. Another thing that I could listen, que les logré escuchar, es que me dijeron good night. Ok. Um, el good night, más que todo, se utiliza ya cuando nos vamos a despedir. Ok, es decir, ya nos vamos a dormir, ya terminamos la clase, buenas noches, so we say good night. Pero si nos estamos encontrando o nos estamos viendo, we're going to say good evening. Ok, so that's my feedback. Esa es mi retroalimentación con lo que les logré escuchar. Ok, Verónica. Con respecto a eso, lo del saludo, este, no tiene que ver el horario para saludar. Ok. Porque yo por lo general, normalmente en español, ¿verdad? De las 7 en adelante digo, buenas noches. Correcto. But en inglés, lo que hacemos, ¿verdad? Que el good evening ya es tipo así, igual, 6, 7 de la noche. Pero si digamos, usted va a ir a una fiesta después de clases y va a ver a sus amigos o va a ver a alguien... Importante, por decirlo así, usted va a decir good evening. No importa que sean las 11 o que ya sea casi medianoche, pero como usted está llegando al lugar, vamos a saludar con el good evening. Ya si media hora después o 15 minutos después usted decide retirarse, porque ya es una despedida, va a usar lo que es el good night. Nosotros al terminar la clase el día de ahora vamos a decir good night. ¿Ok? Okay. Esa viene siendo prácticamente la diferencia. O sea, el good evening, yo lo digo siempre que voy llegando a un lugar, sin importar sean las 11 o medianoche. Y ya el good night es cuando yo me despido porque ya me voy de dicho lugar o porque ya me voy a dormir. ¿Ok? Ok. Another question? I have a question. What's your name? Excuse me. Aha, excellent, thank you. What's my name? Me presenté. Yes. Maybe in the beginning. In the group. Of the class. Only group. Ah, only on the group. Okay, thank yes. you. Yeah, my name is Araceli Rosales, and I'm going to be working with you in these four weeks for the pre intermediate module, okay? Um, I've been working or I've been teaching English for the past six years and I've been working with INSAFOR at ITEXAL and also at Ciudadela Don Bosco. So for the ones that said that are from Soyapango, um, más o menos conozco y soy, a verdad, siempre me pierdo, pero ya si me llegan a ver en el bus y me dicen, hola teacher, y me quedo viendo así como que me quitan las cosas. No hay broma. Este, es porque es así como que 
me estoy acostumbrando ahí, ¿verdad? A ese lugar. ¿Ok? Ok. Uh, tell me, have you worked on the platform? ¿Ya, te, ¿Ya comenzaron a trabajar lo que es la plataforma? Yes. No. Not yet? No, not yet. No, just. yes. Ok. Vaya, para los que ya comenzaron, excelente. Para los que no, pues no hay problema. Vamos a ir trabajando aquí, ¿verdad? En las clases, lo que son los temas. So, I'm going to begin with the first topic that we had there. Vamos a iniciar con el primer ejercicio. O la primera lección que tenemos. That is, I hardly ever exercise. So, how many of you like exercising? ¿A cuántos de ustedes les gusta hacer ejercicios? Ok, thank you, Abigail. Jocelyn, ok. Solamente ustedes dos, tres, Jocelyn, Giselle. Ok, so I have Jocelyn y Jocelyn Marroquín, Verónica y Stephanie. Ok, excelente. O sea que todos ustedes les gusta hacer ejercicios. Sometimes. Ok, sometimes. Perfect, yes. Ya que me dijeron ahí el sometimes, eso es lo que vamos a ver. How often do you exercise? ¿Qué tan a menudo hacen ejercicio ustedes? Once a week. Once a year. Okay. One kind day? of exercise. <laughs> I am never. You never <laughs> exercise? No. <laughs> two or three um, times per week. Okay, two or three times a week? Four, okay. four days a week. Four days a week? Yes, three times a week. Three times a week? Okay, excellent. And what do you like? Doing. ¿Qué es lo que les gusta hacer de ejercicios? Jog. Run. 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 Run and play soccer. And play case. soccer. Yes, excellent. And who is a coach potato? Do you know what a coach potato is? No? no. I'm not a coach. Coach. You're not a coach potato? Okay, no. so, okay, yeah, so what is a coach potato? A coach potato is someone that is always sitting on the coach and watching TV. This person doesn't exercise. So una persona que siempre está en el sillón uh, viendo tele o comiendo y de tanto estar sentada, ¿verdad? La, se le va haciendo la pancita, como que si fuera una papa, o ya va agarrando la posición de una papita, ¿verdad? Por eso es que le llamamos... Algo coach, así el como el sedentarismo. Excellent. Como una persona sedentaria. Perfecto. Ok. okay. <laughs> so, do I have coach potatoes here? No. Sometimes. No. Sometimes. <laughs> no. Ok. Oh. <No. laughs> I am working in my computer. <laughs> You're working on your computer. Okay. Ah, sí, la cuarentena. Vean que esa cuarentena nos ha hecho daño a la mayoría. Okay, so we are going to begin here with the following conversation that says I hardly ever exercise. Le, si no escuchan, me avisan por favor. So we're going to listen to the conversation and then we are going to move to the grammar that is basically frequency adverbs, okay? So let's begin. Hello, we're now in section six. How often do you exercise? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow! How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. 
In our next session, I will teach you adverbs of frequency so you can respond how often you do a particular activity. Okay, so you can see that there we have the conversation. I usually just watch TV in my... So we have here the conversation that we were talking about that I hardly ever exercise. Exercise, sorry. And you see that they are talking about the activities that they do. So if I start asking you, uh, well, you already said that you exercise like two times a week, three times, four times a week. And, but what do you do? You said I play soccer, I like jogging or I like running, but are those the only exercises that you practice? See? No? Sorry, right, Miss, can you repeat this? Yes, uh, si sienten que les estoy hablando rápido, avísenme por favor. O si no me entienden de igual manera, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let me just share this information right now with you. Okay, so here we are. Vaya, aquí está. This is the conversation that we had. That says, I hardly ever exercise. So I'm going to need two people. Necesito dos personas. Voluntarios? Okay, Veronica, thank you. Hi, me? Cool. Okay, thank you. So you are going to practice the conversation. Can you begin, please? Okay. You're really fit, Paul. Do you, do you exercise a lot? Well, I must always get up early and leave with for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And there are... I often go swimming. Wow, how often do you do, do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real, real coach potato. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Do I have two more volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Jocelyn. And? Okay. Uh, you. <laughs> Jocelyn Marroquín, tengo acá que me levantó la mano y la otra persona que habló fue Saúl, si no me equivoco. Okay. So go ahead, please. Okay. You really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early up. Early and I love quite leave. For I um, leave. Eh, me perdí, teacher. Okay, sí, el verbo. Leave. Ah, leave. Okay, eh, again. Lo, lo voy a empezar de nuevo. Lo voy a empezar de nuevo. Please. Well, I almost always get up early and I leave wait for and go. Seriously? Seriously? Sure. And then, and then I often go uh, swimming. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I, I am real coach potato. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll give you my feedback for pronunciation. Vaya, le voy a dar lo que es mi retroalimentación. Uh, let me check. This verb, how do you read it? 
Swimming. 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 Okay. Swimming. Swimming. Uh, let me see another one. We have I live wait for an hour. 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 I live wait for an hour. Okay, excellent. I live wait for an hour. Wait for an hour. Sí, es decir, levanto pesas por una hora. That's what he is talking about. Okay. Thank you. Um, I will need the last two volunteers. Dos voluntarios más y nos pasamos a la siguiente actividad, ¿ok? Yo, teacher. Thank you. But ya tengo quienes me levantaron la mano. Déjenme ver. Let me check. I have... Janet. Yeah, I have... Walter Rivera and Giselle, Lillian, Lillian, okay? Bye. Hello? Me pronuncio mi nombre, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, Lily and Walter, I think I said, yes? Okay. Yes. Okay. You really, you really fit, or do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get out early, and I live wait for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line skating. Wow! How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a real coach potato. Okay, thank you. Um, do you have questions for vocabulary? Yes. Okay, what are your That's questions? What's the meaning of Harley? What is the meaning of? Harley ever. Hardly ever. Hardly um, ever. Sorry, sorry. Okay, hardly ever, casi nunca. Casi nunca. Yes, yeah. casi nunca. So, I hardly ever drink Coke. O sea, yo casi nunca tomo Coca, Coca-Cola. Okay? Probably some of you would, would say, I always drink Coke. Algunos me van a decir, yo siempre tomo Coca-Cola. But in my case, I hardly ever drink Coke. Okay? Another question? No? Uh, I have that question. Go ahead. En, en la línea donde dice sure, la parte donde dice go in line. Ah, in line skating. Ok, sí, yo sé que en la que les puse decía swim, pero en la que está en, el, en la plataforma dice inline skating, o sea, ahí es patinaje. Ok, inline. and, yes, and if you can, see, sí, let me just go back there. Ok, just give me a few seconds, I'll share it right now with you. Ok, and Alejandra, you can see that you have a question too. Ok. So you can see here. Uh, my free time. Okay, you can see here that he has skates. O sea, pueden ver que tiene lo que son los patines. Y se llaman inline porque él va de esta forma. Okay. Okay. Okay, Ale. What is coach potato? Coach potato. Potato. Mm -hmm. Okay, a coach potato, we said that is a person that doesn't do any physical activity or exercise. Es una persona que no hace ejercicios. Decía por ahí una de sus compañeras, una persona sedentaria. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, any other question? Okay, so uh, go ahead. 
sorry, what's the meaning of live? Live, levantar. Oh. Okay. And almost? Almost. Casi siempre. Casi? Okay. No. Okay, no, I'm just asking you, almost what? Solamente almost? Almost. Almost always. Ah, almost always. Okay? Yes. Casi siempre. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. As a teacher. Uh-huh. El... Esa... Sorry. Esa palabra que pregunté, Harley. Harley. Es para Harley. Es para nunca. Pero esa almost es para siempre. Ajá. Muy podría bien. ser diferente. Muy buena pregunta. Vamos a ver entonces lo que son los adverbs of frequency. Luego les voy a presentar o les voy a mostrar lo que es una clasificación del porcentaje que se supone tenemos para este tipo de adverbios. En algunos libros de gramática van a ver que el, el porcentaje es diferente, pero vamos a irlos estudiando uno por uno, ¿ok? So, let's watch this video and then we are going to be discussing, ¿ok? Luego vamos a estar viendo lo que es cada uno de ellos. Ya vamos a responder a esa pregunta, ¿ok? Igualmente me hey, teacher, hacen thanks. saber... You're welcome. Me hacen saber si escucha o no, ¿ok? By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Almost never. Never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverb of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? Okay, so that was the video that we have about the frequency adverbs. So now, let me continue here. Okay, so you can see that here we have the adverbs of frequency. So we have, how often do you exercise? I need a volunteer reading the first three sentences, please. Me? Okay, thank you, Abigail. I live wait every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. Thank you. Who's next? I. Okay, continue, please. 
I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often or much. Usually I exercise before work. Thank you. Okay, so then we have, do you ever watch TV in the evening? I need someone to read the first three sentences, please. Me. Okay, thank you, Sandra. Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. Thank you. And the last two sentences. Do I have a volunteer? Um, me. Okay, thank you. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Okay, thank you. And here we have that usually and sometimes can begin a sentence. That's something that we were watching on the video. So we have the first question that says, how often do you exercise? ¿Qué tan a menudo o qué tan frecuente hacen ejercicios? So we have every day, once a week, twice a month, three times a year, often, much, and usually. So let's see, every day. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa every day? Cada día. Once a week? Un día a la semana. Okay. Una vez a la semana. Twice a month? Dos veces por mes. Okay, three times a year? Tres veces al año. Es often? Casi nunca. Casi nunca. No. Often? A menudo. Okay. A menudo. A menudo. Always a menudo. Okay. Much? Mucho. Mucho. Usually? Usualmente. Usualmente o generalmente? Usualmente. Usualmente. Ajá. Okay. Thank you. And then we have the following question. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? We have often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Okay? So, what is the meaning of ever? Nunca. Como a veces. Mm. No. Siempre. 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 Oh. Nunca. Casi no. nunca. Casi nunca. Nunca. Hmm. Siempre. Okay. Uh, I'll Siempre. give you the Siempre. answer. Yes, the question says, do you ever watch TV in the evening? Que si siempre ves televisión en la noche. Ah, okay. And then we have often. Yes, a menudo. Sí, a menudo. Yes, a menudo. Sometimes. Algunas veces. Hardly ever. Casi nunca. Casi never. Nunca. Okay, excellent. So you can see that here I have like a little um, chart or measurement that I have always. Que es el mayor, ¿verdad? Con un 100%. And never that it is the least that I can get with a 0%. O sea, never significa el 0%. En números. Y always. Un cien por ciento. So we have always, almost always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, almost never, and never. Okay? I'm going to continue with the following. Okay? So here you can see that we have more frequency adverbs. So you can see that this is a percentage that we have we have here the frequently or the frequency adverbs and we have some examples. So we have that 100% is always, 90% usually, 80% normally or generally, 70% often or frequently, a 50% sometimes, 30% occasionally, 10% seldom, 5% hardly ever or rarely, and 0% never. 
So we have here these. Um, let me see. I'm going to need three volunteers. I need one right now. Primer voluntario. Thank you. We have Veronica. Okay. Go ahead. Continue. Please. I already study after class. I usually walk to work. I normally get, get good marks. Thank you, Abigail, continue. I often read in bed at night. I sometimes sing in the shower. I occasionally go to bed late. Okay, thank you. And I have Walter. I seldom put salt in my food. I hardly ever get angry. Vegetarians never eat meat. Okay, thank you. So you can see that here. Um, vale, les decía, este es así un estimado. No es que por ley siempre va a ser ese porcentaje. O sea, en algunos libros gramaticales ustedes van a ver que probablemente el open tiene un 75% o tiene un poco más. Y así, o sea, esto es más que todo un estimado. But with always and never, con eso sí siempre vamos a estar de acuerdo todo. That never is a 0%, o sea, nunca. And always es un 100%. Ok. Uh, Lily. Sí, este, ¿qué significa seldom? Nunca, ah, nunca lo había escuchado. Really? Is this, is this the first time? Yes. Aha, uh -huh. seldom. What is the meaning of seldom? Does anyone know? Raramente. 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 Okay, excellent. Thank you. So let's see. We have always, que significa? Siempre. Usually? Usualmente. Normally or generally? Normalmente. Generalmente. Okay, often, frequently? A menudo, a menudo, frecuentemente. Perfect. Sometimes. A veces. A veces. veces. Occasionally. Occasionalmente. Seldom. Raramente. Hardly ever. Nunca. Nunca. Ajá. Rara vez. Rara vez o raramente. 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 Ajá, uh -huh. and never? Nunca. Nunca. Ok. So, what is going to be the difference between seldom and rarely? Can anyone tell me? Rarely, yeah. Seldom. I'm going to write it on the chat here on Zoom. Seldom, and we said the other one, rarely. Uh-huh. Any idea? Repeat, please. Yes, la diferencia entre seldom and rarely. I don't know. Uh -huh. Seldom and hardly. Yes. Seldom meaning how meaning of rara vez. Okay, rara vez, muy pocas veces. Um, and hardly, casi nunca. Mm, rarely. Con poca casi frecuencia. Nunca. Casi nunca. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and also we can say that we are going to use it based on the percentage. También podemos decir que lo vamos a ir usando según el porcentaje de lo que nosotros tenemos allí. Okay. And another thing that was mentioned is the way how we're going to structure sentences. Otra cosa que se hablaba allí en el video, ¿verdad? Es la forma como vamos a ir haciendo oraciones. So you can see here. Si estamos hablando de cualquier verbo que no sea 
el verbo to be, tenemos que vamos a usar primero lo que es sujeto más el adverbio más el verbo principal más complemento. So, for example, on this sentence, I always study after class. ¿Qué es lo primero que tengo? Subject. Then I have? Uh, adverb. Okay, and then? The pair. And? Complement. Uh -huh. And a complement. Okay, excellent. The same is going to happen. Okay, here. You can see here that we have subject, the adverb, verb, plus complement. Vaya, pero también decía en el video, ¿verdad? Que sometimes, ¿cuáles son las posiciones que puede tener sometimes? Después del do. Después del verbo to be. Al final. Al final, ajá. Antes del verbo. Ajá. ¿Dónde más? Al principio. Ok. Subject. Al inicio. ¿Y dónde más? Ok. Here we have it. In the ah, at the end. Ok, so yeah. we can, you can see that we have these three forms that it can be between the subject and the verb, puede ir entre el sujeto y el verbo, at the beginning and at the end. Ok, esas son las, las formas que tenemos con lo que es el sometimes, que puede ir, o sea, en medio del verbo y sujeto, al inicio o al final. Ok. And another thing that we have here, hold on, is when we are using the verb to be, cuando estamos usando el verbo to be. Okay, so if we are using the verb to be, we're going to have the subject plus be plus adverb. So you can see that it says, he is always happy. Ok, tengo el sujeto, el verbo to be, el adverbio, más el complemento. Ok, so if I ask, how often do you drink coffee? ¿Qué tan a menudo toman ustedes café? Never. 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 Usually. ¿Quiénes dijeron? Never. Who say never? Always. Uh, Usually. Uh, I always drink coffee. Okay, yeah. I, I always drink coffee too. So I'm surprised when you say never. Me sorprende que me digan nunca. Okay, excellent. Perfect. And I'll keep with this. I'm going to be working with this question. Do you ever um, listen to music in the evening? Yes. I often. Uh huh. I often listen to music in the evening. Okay. Do you ever listen to music? And how often do you chat? Tell me. ¿Qué tan a menudo chatean ustedes? Always. Always. Ah, always. Always. How often do you chat? Ajá, ¿y usted? I need complete answers. Necesito... When... Uh-huh. I am chat. No, 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 no. I always. 
I always. Always. Uh -huh. mm. Chat. 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 With my friends. Okay, excellent. Sometimes. Okay, sometimes. Oops, sorry. Sometimes. When I. Reading me. Okay, sorry, can you repeat your sentence one more time, please? Sometimes. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's this form. But, but I have a chat when. No, I'm chat when. Me escriben, reading me. When they text me. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so sometimes Ch I chat when they text me, or you can say when my friends, when my family, or I don't know, with the person that you chat with. Okay, um, I can say that I... In my case, let me see, I almost always chat with my friends, okay? And we were asking this, how often do you drink coffee? Okay? ¿Quiénes me dijeron nunca? I never drink coffee. I never drink coffee. Coffee. Oops. Okay. Another answer. I always drink Excellent. coffee. Excellent. I always drink coffee. Another answer. I sometimes drink okay. coffee. I sometimes drink coffee. Coffee. Perfect. Okay, and my last question is going to be How often um, do you sleep? Anyone? Sometimes I go to bed. Sometimes? Go to bed. 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. Okay. I always sleep every night. Okay, I always sleep every night. And one more. I usually. Okay, excellent. I usually sleep. Usually. I going to. Mm, okay, I usually or I'm usually going to. Going, going. So like this? To bed. Oops, sorry. And um, night, at night, p.m. <laughs> okay, so I usually going to bed or I usually go? I usually go. Okay, yes. I usually go to bed at 9 p.m. Okay? Mm -hmm. ¿Y quiénes tienen problemas para dormir? I rarely sleep in the evening. Ah, I rarely sleep at night. At night in 
or in the evening or in in the in the evening okay i rarely sleep in the evening por las tardes ah how do you say that afternoon. Okay. afternoon 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 okay perfect vaya si se han dado cuenta hemos estado viendo lo que son los adverbios de frecuencia cómo vamos a estarlos usando y todo eso verdad y mañana continuaríamos porque ya se nos pasó la hora um, if you have questions or any doubts please let me know ok ok alguna sí. duda hasta acá o está todo claro Yeah, this moment. It's clear. It's the moment. Good. Okay. Like what? Okay, excellent. Bye. Entonces, si no hay preguntas o dudas, nos quedaríamos hasta acá y mañana continuaríamos con el tema igualmente con algunos ejercicios, okay? Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow. Yeah, that's going to be all for today. And see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, Tisha. Bye. Good night. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too. Nice to Bye. Bye bye. Nice.